Hey there, it is Isaac with Emerald Design, and I am going to show you another um, tip that I think um, will really help you. Um, and this is, what I'm talking about here is pretty specific to working with the KDP templates. Um, when you're laying out a print book for Amazon KDP. Um, now, if you're interested in Amazon KDP and you think like, oh, I can never do this, I'm not a graphic designer, um, maybe you're hearing about the KDP templates for the first time, the KDP templates are amazing. Just um, put it into Google, Amazon KDP templates, and Amazon will deliver you a set of just tons of files and languages around the world and they're all Word files and they're all formatted to the sizes that you need. Um, so, so just Google that and you can find them and it sort of lets anyone self-publish really easily because they're formatted correctly and the section's already there and you don't have to do very much except for paste in your own manuscript. Um, so what I wanted to talk about today though is um, so I'm working on a book here. It's around 400 pages long. And as the pages increase, um, the inside margin stays the same on the KDP template. Now the inside margin is set to be printable by Amazon. So when you send it um, to Amazon, you will, you will get a printed book out of it. It'll be fine. You know, there's nothing you need to worry about. But if you have a book that's around 400 pages long, like this book, then basically that margin, that the seam where it where it binds onto the spine, um, the paper is really thick and the pages don't really open all the way because they're the spine is so thick, basically, right? So um, so so I can use this file, upload it to Amazon, get a printable book. But what I'll find is when I look at um, the spine, it'll be kind of tight. Uh, maybe or maybe I'll have to push the push the spine backwards to really read it comfortably, right? Um, so one standard thing that I almost always do is, um, well, first of all, just take a look at this file, and you can see the margins are smaller on one side than they are at the other, and that's because this is not a normal word file where it's like right and left margins. This is the outside margin where it's small, and this is the inside margin where it's larger. Right, so the inside margin is the one that is going to connect to the spine. So when I get a book that's over 200 pages, you know, maybe like four or 500, um, this is an essential thing that I do to make reading a little bit more comfortable. I will go into format, format the document, and this is the entire document. Now here's what you need to make sure, make sure to see this apply to this section. Uh, the KDP template uses sections, so um, you want to do it for the whole document. And then you go to the margins for the entire document, and the inside margins are about 0.76. So, you know, just to make the reading a little more comfortable, I go to 0 0.9. Um, the outside margin, um, I forget offhand what the, what the minimum for the outside margin is, but, you know, I leave it pretty much the same. Um, that is so that when you have a really thick book, the curvature of the spine um, will not get in the way of reading. It, you, you know the feeling, right? You're reading a book and, and in order to comfortably see the pages, you, you have to push it back. Um, you have to open it all the way and kind of crack the spine. So um, when the books are on the thicker side, I always increase the inside margin you know, by at least a, tuple, a couple, of, um, couple of clicks here. Uh, 0.9 works pretty well, and it doesn't mess with the layout, but it just makes it so that um, even if you partially open the book like you open it most of the way, you can still really comfortably read it. Um, all right, so that's it. It's it has you know done it to through the whole document, uh, but of course now I have to go back and check uh, my layout because you can see I have a section ending on a blank page, with, which is not what I want to do, uh, but. That's just one little one little tip that will it will just make your design look great. It'll make it look easy to read and it's sort of getting you from the KDP world a little more towards like 
the professional layout world. So I hope that was helpful. Um, all right, well, bye for now.